Hi, welcome to Audi Classics. Today we've got a 1907 Durac. We're going to take off for a test drive. I'm going to see if we can attempt the starter. She's fitted with a Dyna start, so that's basically an electric start. That has a dynamo on it as well, so it regenerates the battery. Um, we'll give her a fire up and see if she's going to go. Really? Right, we're off, and here we go. It's got conventional controls, it's got the foot clutch and uh, foot brake, as well as the handbrake, so it's pretty easy to drive. So we're driving up here now, uh, first gear, driving along, putting her into second. She's put, it doesn't look much of a gradient, but it is quite a, a steep gradient, this. And it handles really well. It does, it, it handles like, a bit like a modern car. Um, loads of power, the little twin cylinder engines, pulls for fun, but I think second gear is about the safest you dare go up here, um, third you'd be outreaching yourself a little bit too much. Brake wise it's got, they can see a good hand brake which you use a lot of the time, and the foot brake. Hopefully we'll get round here and there'll be no traffic. We'll keep her in second gear, which is always a good thing. You're not, you're not up and down the gearbox. We're away. So we're in second gear. Coming to the roundabout again. Pulling away. In first. Get her into second up this hill. Into second. We're away now. Again, another steep gradient. Um, but the car's driving faultlessly. It really does pull really well with two people in. These country roads are ideal for what I'm going to do now. I'm going to open her up, there's nobody behind us, and it's just a straight, nice road. We'll get her into the top here, and she really does cruise along nice. I think if there was nobody in front of us, um, I think 30 miles an hour would be easily achievable. The main thing with these cars is the lubrication, and you can see the oil dripping in the oiler there. So that shows that the, the bottom end of the engine is getting lubricated. Again, she just pulls for fun, just pulls lovely and strong. So it's just a nice car to drive in, you can throw it around the corners. As much as you can throw a 1907 car around the corners. She's away. Now, up some windy roads and onto uh, the main road. So, we're leaving the past and going to the present. We're going to Costa and we're going to let the car kill down, and we're going to kill down. We're going to have a coffee and we'll check the fluids, the petrol, and uh, oil before we set off again. So with the car refilled and we've been refilled as well, we're off again. The modern day traffic likes to overtake you. Uh, Sometimes become a bit of a hazard on the road when you're in these old cars, so it's always nice to take them out when it's not too busy. You can hear the diff now, it's winding on a bit as it's straining on the engine. I'm just letting the engine do a bit of the brake and I'm taking my foot off the throttle, and you can hear the transmission winding on a bit. Uh, I'll use the handbrake to slow myself down here and the engine. 
with it being a 10 or 12 horsepower engine, it's got loads of torque, so it really does help slow you down when you take your foot off the throttle. Right, we're going to approach this hill. Um, I've kept her in second gear, which I don't know is a good thing or not. Um, it doesn't like to go from second to first on the move, so I'm just going to keep it in second and hope she chugs up, 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 and I'm sure she will. Um, you'll hear the engine note turn down really slow, and uh, hopefully we'll get to the top, even if it is a bit slow. Yeah, and the engines, you can hear it now, really laboring. I don't know how many revs a minute it's doing, but it's really just chugging on there. And you don't want to put too much throttle on now, you just want to keep your foot backed off the throttle, just enough just to get up the hill. And we're going to make it. Looks like we're going to get there. Yep, we've done it. We're getting up the hill in second gear. There's no main achievement for two people on this other car. Right, we're now approaching Potter's Bank and we're going to try and crawl up here in first gear. It doesn't look very steep, but it's, it is a steep bank in Durham. It's called Potter's Bank because they do the clear out of it for the potteries. And we're off and it's just chilling up here nicely. My biggest concern up the hill is um, the petrol tanks grab your fed and when it gets a little low and you go up a steep hill, it does have a tendency to conk out and you have to chop the petrol up. But I think we might get there looking at it, it's just chugging on, we might just get up there, it's starting to die, it's fluttering on, I think we're going to have to stop, yeah we've conked out, as I suspected, like I say we've just toppled up the fuel and we're back on there again, second part of Potter's Bank, like I say it's a big sweeping bank and it's a good test for any car, modern or old, and I always like to try my old cars out on this hill. Wherever you go, you get attention in these old cars. People are always waving at you, smiling at you. Now we're coming down Potter's Bank, which um, is always easy to go down a hill and up a hill, but it's uh, a little bit harder to stop. And as we come round the corner here in a minute, it's quite a steep gradient. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to have to use the engine to brake, the foot brake, and the handbrake, and just hope that nobody pulls out on this bend. Because if they do, I don't think there's a chance I'm going to be able to stop when I get around this corner. Right, we're off in first gear. It likes to pull away in first gear, so we're away in first, we'll get it into second, and I think we'll just keep it in second gear. stretch now we're on our way back and apart from a little bit of fuel problem going up a hill which we knew the car has it's just performing lovely it's driving okay let's hope we just get back in one piece well the sun the drive up it's been really good uh, the cars perform faultlessly like I say brakes are good uh, it's oiled nicely and steering's okay we've hit all these uh, there we're hitting all these lights on green if there's one little snag we've had, it's the fuel going uphill, but that's not really a problem. Um, I should have topped the fuel tank up. If I'd had the fuel tank topped at the top before we set off, it wouldn't have been a problem. Um, I think the car was once fitted with an electric pump and we've took that off, and that could possibly be the problem as well. But uh, as long as you keep the fuel topped up, she's always okay. Test drive of the Dirac, we must have done a good 20 miles to me it has. And I must say it drives faultlessly, it pulls really well. 
plenty of power, stops okay, uh, and never let us down.